Hello and welcome back to another video. I just wanted to show you my continuing work in progress of the hummingbird if I can get round. I thought that was paint on my seat for a minute then, it's just the sunlight. <laughs> so you might not be able to recognise it because yes it is upside down and the reason for that is because I have now painted the bottom of it with the lighter lilac colour. And it was amethyst isn't it I can um, try to um, write it so that you can see it properly um, if I sit down uh, um, so if I can just get paints dry and just uh, so I've done the wings white and with a bit of purple in and bits. I had black part of it, leaving me some white bits and I've done burgundy for the body. I um, didn't have any burgundy paint, at least I might have, but I couldn't be bothered looking in my box to see. Um, but I, I uh, googled how to make burgundy and it said two parts red, one part blue. So I did that and it worked out like that. So that's like that. So that's what I did. And then whew, it's hard to um uh, hold it like this. Um okay. So then I did and I've done the other wing as well. So then I did the branches with a burnt sienna and then burnt umber. And I thought the burnt umber would look a lot darker than the burnt sienna. It doesn't look much different. I might have to go back over that with a raw sienna or or a little um, yellow ochre, but I might do that anyway. I've got to put this back down. So that's how I'm getting on with it. Uh, um. Oh, I forgot to do the berries, as you can tell. This bit was done with raw raw umber mixed with a bit of white to make it lighter. You can see on the picture that that bit is lighter. I might have to go over it with a bit of uh, yellow ochre. <coughs> there, my branches are too thick. They're thicker than they should be. It's because I've. I'm not. I'm using. I'm using a number zero brush, but I just can't seem to get it as thin as it should be. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but it doesn't look too great either. I mean, it doesn't look perfect. Um, I might leave it now till tomorrow sometime. <coughs> with this cough and cold <coughs> I'm not going to be going shopping tomorrow so I can come back and do some more to this instead um oh. so um yeah I think the bird looks good. It's just these twigs that look too thick. Thicker than they're supposed to be. I've yet to do this part of the bird. I might do that in yellow ochre or something. Because look, it's, it's kind of a yellowy colour at the front here. And then we've got a bit more burgundy looking colour and a bit look like look, what looks like a bit of orange going into it as well for this bit here and then this bit yeah. um, I think I've gone over where that should be with the black again I'll, I'll just have to go over it with white again it should work because it's acrylic and you can go over black with white with acrylic because it's opaque and you can do what you want with it. <laughs> um, 
Well, anyway, that's how I've uh, that's how I've got on with it. I was just thinking how I was going to photograph it upside down, but I've realised I can photograph it upside down and then adjust it in the photos. You can you can flip it like so I could just photograph it upside down and then flip it in the in the photo app so I can do that anyway that's the end of this video um if you enjoyed it give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you later bye